Hello, welcome to another Excel at the Office video. My name's Adrian and today I'm going to show you some more tools and tips on PowerPoint. In particular, uh, making the text in your slides uh, a little bit more appealing, uh, both the text um, that's in the bullet point list and how to make use of multiple columns, um, spacing between your text and also how to put um, text in shapes so that it fits. Um, so I've just inserted a new slide in my thumbnail cover design slide deck I use for all my uh, tutorials. So oops, when you insert a new slide, um, PowerPoint gives you this really bland and lame template. But the good thing is that the text size adjusts to the area in the bullet point list that is available. Um, so using that feature I've just started with a dummy template of text here. Point one summary and your sub bullet points you might have. When you have more bullet points, albeit you might want to include it on the same page uh, and you might want to increase the size a bit, but still it looks rather small when it doesn't take up the whole space. So this is an example where it might be useful to use multiple columns um, to maximize the use of this space. So a quick way of doing that is you select the text box and up here in the paragraph um, section of the home ribbon you can choose two columns or three columns even. I will. I tend to go for two columns because if you can't fit it on two columns um, then it's probably best to, to either make your points briefer or spread them over more slides. But Spreading over columns is just a good way of maximizing use of the space and I can increase my font size um, so just make sure it fits um, across the two and I can manually type enter to um, have things uh, abridge quite nicely there. So there's my points and my sub points that um, are, are much more clear and impactive um, to size uh, for ideal presentations. Uh, rather than having lots of bitty text. But the, have a look at some of my other videos if you wanted some uh, handy and cool template PowerPoints, including I've got one for a Stranger Things template. Um, I've got uh, Emergency Alerts templates um, and a bunch of other things that I've done over time. So yeah, have a look on my PowerPoint YouTube playlist and yours and on my website excel at the .com for some free um, PowerPoint templates that go beyond this standard one. So next um, important thing, something I do uh, by default uh, or automatically these days is because PowerPoint and Microsoft generally gives a weird line spacing uh, and um, breaks to things. If you want to squeeze things um, in a bit better. So for example this, I want just two lines of text and have it a bit uh, better aligned to the text box. First of all is sort out the line spacing because there's quite a big gap between the lines that I can probably reduce. As default, in if you put in a, a shape um, and type some text in it, the line spacing is one. If you want to reduce that slightly, um, it might sound a bit uh, unintuitive but you actually choose multiple as your line spacing option as default it gives you three but um, you want less than one normally I go for somewhere between 0 0.8 and 0 0.9 you can be even quite precise and have 0 0.85 if you like so just under line spacing of one and that bunches it together um, a little bit better um, also with text boxes um, it's quite handy to, if your text isn't quite fitting in, by default um, PowerPoint adds some padding around the edges of the text box, so uh, around the shape, sorry, or text box. So on the shape options, um, 
I think it's in, yeah, under the size and properties, and then the size and properties of the text box drop down. What I'm going to do is I, I tend to take down the margins uh, to about 0 0.1 uh, all around. And when you do that, you'll see that you've freed up a bit more space so that it doesn't, um, it puts it all on one line there. Um, if I put in bold, it hasn't done that, but you get you get the drift. It can be quite handy to play around with these, particularly if you've got um, a, a bunch of text boxes which are like uh, small buttons maybe you've used and you haven't got a lot of space to work with like this. Uh, then it can be good to maximize the use of the margins to uh, uh, adjust the use of the margins to maximize the space you have. So that's just a bit about um, making multiple columns in your um, bullet point text box, uh, adjusting the margins or the shape and also the line spacing uh, options. And line spacing options can work as well um, with the text box obviously so with the line spacing options of this um, if I want this is already at 0 0.8 multiple spacing but you can remove the padding before and after bullet points should you wish so for example you see here there's a slightly bigger space than there is between these ones you can remove that if you wished by typing zero in the spacing before and ensuring spacing after is zero as well. And has that worked? Maybe I need to uh, select the text. Yeah, select the text first. Line spacing options, go to before. Bring it down to zero, go OK. There we go. That's taken out that padding um, before the text as well. So works slightly differently on the text boxes. Anyway, uh, that's enough of that. I hope you found this video helpful. Please have a look at excel at theoffice.com. Uh, give your comments below if you found this helpful. And I'll be providing you with another video in due course.